This resource is the second in a four-part series on test taking. Part 1 provides an overview of test taking, looking at questions to ask to maximize studying effectiveness, and general test taking tips. Part 2 explores test anxiety, defining it and its effects, and ways to minimize the anxiety. Part 3 looks at strategies for taking specific types of tests. Part 4 considers what happens if you are not successful on a test. How can you recover from a test failure? Test time is stressful. For many people, taking a test leads to a high level of anxiety. This anxiety may lead to various physical and psychological effects. Ultimately, the test anxiety impacts your ability to prepare for your test. There are various physical effects of test anxiety. A person anxious about a test may experience shortness of breath, sweating, headaches, nervous movements, or nausea. These physical ailments only reinforce the anxiety. The test anxiety may also lead to a lack of confidence. So just being nervous about taking a test may make you physically ill, or it may even make you do worse on the test. One way to help ease the effects of test anxiety is to remember exactly what tests do and do not do. Tests measure your understanding about a topic. They see if you've learned the material. They also help point out what you still need to work on. Maybe there are topics that you should seek extra help on, especially if it is a foundational concept that will be built on later in the study or in future studies. Tests do not measure your intelligence. Intelligence measures how well you can learn or deal with new situations. It is too complex to be measured by any one test. Study tests also do not measure your creativity. There is no correlation between how you answer a true-false question and whether you can be a creative person. And tests certainly do not measure your self-worth. You are a courageous person trying a unique method like Empire State to try to improve yourself and your position in life. Certain pre-test activities can help ease anxiety. First, and most importantly, study. You'll be less worried if you know the material inside and out. When you think you've studied enough, study some more, just to be sure. You also want to make sure you get good sleep the night before your test. Avoid late night caffeine or alcohol, both of which disrupt sleep patterns. Being well rested helps your information recall and also helps you feel more relaxed. Eat a healthy breakfast. Provide your mind good fuel so it can perform at its highest level. And make sure you get to the exam early and are prepared. Have your pens, pencils, calculators, or whatever else you need for the test. Easing test anxiety means you take the power away from the test. Find out information about the test itself. What material does it cover? What types of questions will be asked? How much of the grade is it worth? The more information you have about the test, the less mysterious and scary it will be. The best way to ease test anxiety is to know the material and to study to convince yourself that you know the material. Attend any review sessions and complete any review sheets. Study, study, and study some more. So we have finally arrived at the test, but you don't need to be anxious. You've got this. Look over the whole test. Make a plan of attack. Jot down anything you might need on one of the pages. Maybe you need some formulas for a science test. Maybe you create a mnemonic to help you remember some information. Write it down. As you go through the test, answer the questions you know first. Get the easy stuff out of the way. When you are done, check your answers. But remember, your initial response is usually correct, so changing answers is not advised. Make sure you didn't leave anything blank. And whatever you do, stay positive. You worked hard, and you know this. Relax. It's only a test. Just do your best. If you don't do so well, there are ways to bail yourself out. But you'll do fine. 
so there's no need to have any test anxiety.